For anybody who is getting a blood cell transfusion or a blood or bone marrow transplant, for people that have immune deficiencies or get recurrent infections, the stem cells provide a way of generating platelets that stop bleeding, white cells to stop infections, and red cells to carry oxygen. If we can find a way to generate these cells in the laboratory, then we can avoid a lot of the need for not only the donor infusion, but we could have a readily available, accessible source of stem cells that could be an off-the-shelf product in the future. If you have a variety of cancers, we typically will give chemotherapy or radiation therapy or both. If you get chemotherapy or radiation therapy, it suppresses your bone marrow and kills some of your stem cells. The result of that is you can be in the hospital a long period of time, you have, you're prone to bleedings, infections, you may need multiple transfusions. So for uh, people that have that need, this would allow us to be able to infuse these stem cells and uh, correct those problems and maybe with some of the cell products from the stem cells, uh, markedly reduce the time of hospitalization or the complications. But this is a very early stage project and it's very challenging to get money for early stage projects these days. And so this is true startup seed money that will allow us to build on this and hopefully build an entire program and clinical program out of it.